Chairman Kim and I just signed a joint statement in which he reaffirmed his unwavering commitment to complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. They interrupted the bachelorette for that? <laughs> anyway, this is big news, but it's only a start, a first date, if you will. Verification is key, for in the past, North Korea has been about as trustworthy as sushi from the drugstore on a Thursday in the summertime. <laughs> but maybe that past is dead. Check out this movie trailer that President Trump presented to Kim. Destiny Pictures presents a story of opportunity, a new story, a new beginning, one of peace, two men, two leaders, one destiny. A story about a special moment in time when a man is presented with one chance that may never be repeated. What will he choose? To show vision and leadership? Or not? A new world can begin today. One of friendship, respect, and goodwill. Be part of that world where the doors of opportunity are ready to be opened. Okay, wow. that's, that is amazing. I can't wait for the movie. <laughs> yes. And it's got to be a first. Showing a world leader what the world could be like if you change your ways. As a movie trailer, who does this? Donald Trump. Why? Why did he show him this? I showed it to you because that's the future. I mean, that could very well be the future. And the other alternative is just not a very good alternative. Not at all. See, it's about two options the golden off-ramp or the cliff to nowhere. This is not politics, it's persuasion. It reframes the future so the past is the past. This isn't thinking outside the box, it's getting rid of the box. Really, Trump just did a sales presentation on freedom. No one has done that before. Will Kim do what's right? <laughs> I think he's gonna do these things. I may be wrong, I mean, I may stand before you in six months and say, hey, I was wrong. I don't know that I'll ever admit that, but I'll find, a, I'll find some kind of an excuse. <laughs> now, that's transparency. Now, this should feel like good news, but if you still believe the summit was itself a concession, then it won't. But with that thinking, why have diplomacy? We'd be stuck in one place forever. So what should reassure you? Our new crew, Pompeo, Bolton, Trump. This isn't Carrie, Hillary, or that guy, Ben Rhodes, entitled lemmings out for legacy. They were all carrot. The new guys mostly stick, which makes the carrot possible. The establishment will laugh, but just months ago, the same people who thought Trump was leading us to war are now mad that he's averting it. Screw him. As for you, you should greet this news with hope, not illusion. Let's check back in a year. Worst case, we're back at square one. That's no concession, just a path tried. What did one great philosopher say? We're going to have to see what happens. We will see what we will see. We'll see what happens. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. Okay, Kilmeade, I'm going to you first because, frankly, I feel bad for you. Um, <laughs> just overall? Yes, in general. Uh, has anybody ever done this before? Present a video. It's like a timeshare condominium video that a salesman will show you to get you to, to go on the tour. Mm -hmm. it, what, this could be so, uh, the start of something new where you go to other countries and go, this is what you could have. It, it's great. And by the way, I could not back your decision to come to me first strong <laughs> enough. And here's why it's a good decision. Yes. Why? I actually watched at 10 and they got up at 1.30 to do the show at 5. So I actually have not been decided. I've been watching <laughs> Singapore time. Yes. And now we're back in East Coast time. So a couple of things. He also said this on the condo uh, episode. He said, you know, watching those missiles, those rockets take off and they hit Japan, I'm thinking to myself, that's a beautiful beach it's going over. Yeah. We could put condos. <laughs> yes. And he's like, that could be the condos. <laughs> yes. So I'm just saying he is... I know there's a lot of reasons to say it's not going to work, but all I could say is keep your powder dry if you are quick to criticize a president, because this, you've got to understand, is just step number one mm. of a brand new series of stairs. Yeah. Because nobody knows where this is heading, but I know for sure it's not done yet, and the pressure is really on them. Because this is the best chance they'll ever have to give their people a future and give their, give their, uh, their uh, monarchy, whatever you call it, uh, some type of security. 
And if they want an example, it's Vietnam and China. Mm. Command economies where we never want to live, but they found a way to put some market principles in there where we actually get along with both. Vietnam probably gets along with us better than China and Russia these mm. days. So I am encouraged by the chance. There's plenty of reasons to poke holes in it. The, this term, which I, I think is not great, commits to work towards complete denuclearization is not uh, complete uh, denuclearizing the entire peninsula. However, it's a first step. And guess what happens next week? Bolton and Pompeo pick up where this summit left off. Mm -hmm. Game on. Yeah. What do you think, Dana? I think this is a, uh, I mean, I'm skeptical, but I also have a feeling of hope. I'm a little buoyed. Yeah, I think that that's true, but I, just, I kind of feel the same as I did yesterday. Yeah. Except for I, I didn't like, uh, I don't know. I had some uneasiness, mm. like looking at the flags side by side, you know, like he's like an equal partner. Like Kim really did get a lot out of this. Mm -hmm. He's got all the propaganda that he can use back home. Now Russia has to come to him to have a meeting. The Chinese are going to come to him to have a meeting. He no longer has to go there, although he, he might do that as well. The video does remind me of that idea I had a long time ago that I asked General Petraeus to do when he was at the CIA, which was to create a video showing suicide bombers, like the underwear bombers, right. what could happen to them mm -hmm. with a, like, a little mistake. Exactly, like, exactly. How risky it could be. Yes. For Present them. the alternatives. Yeah. What happens and when they, your crotch and, lives. And, yes. <laughs> And then, yes, exactly. That's what I was trying to do. That was the title of the movie, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> um, I've had, I had a Sue Me Terry on today. She's at, uh, she was a former CIA deputy director um, for Korean issues. And she said, overall, net plus. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's probably where I was yesterday, or as you're describing. I'm hopeful, but I'm skeptical. I do think that personnel is policy in a lot of ways. So the fact that Bolton and Pompeo are going over there is good. Um, I do wonder, though, if the people who are critical of it, like, like many on the left, there are some on the right, but people are critical of it because they're looking at this and saying it's not strong enough. We're the same ones that praise President Obama for Iran. Yeah. So I just think that consistency and skepticism about these things is warranted. And All right, Cuba. They I want to um, play this video for, uh, I think I'll play this for Juan. This is, Donald Trump is going to be on Hannity tonight. You're familiar with Sean Hannity? I've heard <laughs> All right. Heard uh, and they're going to they're talk about the early rhetoric that Donald Trump Trump employed. Let's roll that tape for the world. Well, I think without the rhetoric, we wouldn't have been here. I really believe that, you know, we did sanctions and all of the things that you would do. But I think without the rhetoric, you know, other administrations, I don't want to get specific on that, but they had a, a policy of silence. If they said something very bad, very threatening and horrible, just don't answer. That's not the answer. That's not what you have to do. So I think the rhetoric, I hated to do it. Sometimes I felt foolish doing it, but we had no choice. What do you think, Juan? I think he's celebrating himself. He's rationalizing what he did before. But he just said he met him in a mistake. Excuse me? No, he, he didn't. Said, yeah, he said that maybe he felt bad doing it. Yeah, oh, that's what but he it, said. But he didn't say worked. he made a mistake. He said it worked. It's to the contrary. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to me, this whole thing, I listen to you guys and I think, boy, what? look at the defenders of Trump today. I mean, this is like a wet firecracker. This is like, really? this is like the end of The Sopranos, where you go, "What happened to my TV? Did anything happen to this show? What, what happened here?" That was a great series. Oh, don't this is know, a great, don't stop this is a believing. Great We're yeah. on the jukebox. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I mean, but you got to remember, the man who set the bar for this was none other than our TV star Donald Trump. Donald Trump said, "No lengthy negotiations like my predecessors." Remember? Yeah. That's what he said. He said, "No concessions." that will stall and simply give this horrible regime more time to perpetrate their terrors. And he said, quite clearly, we're going to talk about human rights. Otto Warmbier. So today he says, oh, Otto Warmbier didn't die in vain. Oh, but you didn't mention, you didn't bring up. Instead, yes, he did. Yes, no, last did. night. Fact, it was amazing. No, and he brought up the repatriations as well. In fact, oh, what he come said on, be was, accurate. I'll be accurate. What he That's said what he was, said. well, here's what Kim said. We agreed to let past, the past be the past. Mm -hmm. We're moving on. Yeah. Well, That's what he said. Kimberly. I see. So let me finish. So here you have You're a situation. Ten minutes in. You say, <laughs> oh, you say, oh, are these lemmings? Bo you say, you say, uh, Kerry and others are lemmings. Yeah, I was I guess being Otto, diplomatic. Is Otto Warmbier one of the lemmings, too? Did he just go away, just go off the edge? That That's makes terrible. No, okay, that makes well, no sense. So wait a second. I did not say me, that. That's me, also you, highly I would, inappropriate. I, to me, that was so wrong, Juan. Let me just say, I did not call Warmbier let, let a lemming, say, you moron. Let me just say something. You say, oh, so this has never been tried before. We're going down a path that's never been tried before. I guess you've never read about Bill Clinton 
and the framework agreement in which the North Koreans took concessions don't deliver. How about the six party talks? I stopped listening to you when you said I called one beer a moron. How about Kimberly? I don't know. Enough. I enough. No, no, no. no. You're enough. enough because oh, no. you go on and you go on and you well, make you, these you, you accused me of saying something no, I didn't no, say. No, but you, you say these on. guys are lemmings. They and are. You uh, some uh, of them throw everybody they did, else they did, over they the They did bring up human rights, Kimberly. Yeah, thank you so much. I mean, honestly, what are we in North Korea right now? So listen, I got an opinion too, and I think that it wasn't incredible to watch last night. So many of us were riveted by it. It is an important moment in not just American political history, but in international discourse and diplomacy. I really hope and pray that this is the first step of, yes, many meetings between the United States and North, South Korea, China, be able to work together, nuclear scientists involved, to be able to trust but verify, which was Reagan's policy, and really work towards peace. No one benefits, you know, from war. And so in that sense, I think this was something that was important. It's a step in the right direction. Can you say that he trusts 100% the actions of that man that has run, you know, a brutal regime of torture and behaved in a way horrifically to his own people? No, but perhaps we have some small part to play in stopping that, right. some shedding some light on it, and not continuing to remain to have them isolated to create and commit their horrors without the rest of the world knowing about it. I believe the president when he says that Otto Warmbier did not die in vain because that really did cast a very bright light on what was going on in North Korea and I think really was really so pivotal in terms of being able to get POWs, MIA, you know, remains home, be able to negotiate for the other hostages that were held there, that does matter to those families and those that have been grieving and looking to bury their loved ones. So I say, let's give this a chance. Uh, kudos to our president for right. being able to make this happen, which so many people didn't think. Uh, exactly. Just, what just, do we get out of this? I, oh, we say we're going to stop our, new, our exercises with South Korea. Oh, what do we get Morgan. in return? Huh. I we get we get I promises, pledges. A, a, oh my gosh! You know you got. Uh, you are such a baby. One about this. If, denuclearization. If, that's what we got. Oh, we got we got complete denuclearization. We got a promise you better, to work towards you better that. Check it's better your, than your one not. I say to do I, it. I'm just telling you something. Remember, up. you have people who say the Iran deal stinks, right? Terrible. The Iran deal. The Iranians didn't have nukes. And we had a deal to stop them from getting nukes. Well, and the now North they're quickly Koreans, getting them. How did that happen? The North Koreans have nukes. Well, they have all and the we are After 70 years of doing what? Given, given that we you are know, saying that this is about non proliferation They had nukes we using your old traditional well, you bad know, diplomacy. You keep talking right. and well, saying it's not your just monologue about non -proliferation. that's just ridiculous. It's about but not let me just say it. we are rewarding right. bad behavior. It's also about not having the material. And getting nothing for it despite all the big talk from Trump. I cannot believe you're acting like the Donald Trump rewarded bad behavior. He did. What did Bill Clinton do by Bill paying Clinton money? To make a this deal guy, the only thing he did screwed. is meet with him and start uh, starting a series of talks. Why do you think, talks. Brian, why do you there think other presidents be, didn't do it? When, uh, there's a reason why they didn't do Tell it. Me, Brian. Because, they, because could, they didn't have nuclear weapons. They weren't a threat yes, to us. The multi-stage rockets can now hit the lower Brian. 48 states, and there was a legitimate military threat that brought them to the table. All right, guys, we're going to do another block on this, believe it or not, if we're, if we're still here.